pieces called soft light. There's actually a companion to this piece, but I just wanted to show you some of the detail that goes into the instructions on how to replicate the pieces. So here's the color palette for all the paints that we're going to use. And then this is the step sample. This shows you from left to right how you're going to start out with the background and then you're going to put the colors on top of it for the detail. And then this is actually our paint sample. So here's the piece, how it starts out, and then our original comes here. So lots of thought and lots of time goes into making sure the piece looks like the original that we're creating. So 10 years ago, Paragon purchased Kinder Harris out of Stuttgart, Arkansas. And one of the pieces that came over with their designs was this piece that we do forest for the trees. It looks like maybe in a photo that it's just a simple piece with just a tree on a wood. This takes lots and lots of steps to make this piece. So the trees actually start out as a piece of tooling. So we use brass, we use copper tooling. This is very uh, delicate, you can actually cut your hands on it, so that's why I'm wearing the glove. And then we come in and we actually hand cut all the pieces to create the trees. So here's one example of what the beginning of the tree looks like. And then we go in and we oxidize the piece. This takes a little while to do. So each piece is gonna be unique as it's got the verdigris color on there. We also come in and we paint the wood and then we do some distressing on it to create a great piece. So this is kind of the, the thing that we do here in the studio that makes us different from everybody else. One of the new pieces that we created for our coastal customer will be our crane one and two. The fun thing about this piece is actually a two-part piece of art. So this piece is hand-painted reverse on plexiglass. part of a four-part series that we have for the Jay Banks collection. So in our studio, we add the gold leaf accents to the piece. It takes a real steady hand because look how thin the gold leaf is. This is something that goes on with some adhesive that will stay on and then we have to burnish it with the brush. Uh, it's one of the great details that we do here in the studio. So one of the great things about buying Paragon Studio Collection is that we have exclusive art from artists that we've worked with for years. Lynn Chardin from San Diego, California is one of our exclusive artists that we've worked with for years. Um, these are actually some of the pieces that we introduced and we showed them in Vegas to start with. So this is actually how the piece starts out. So it comes in to us as an original, but she then she sends us uh, instructions on how to paint it. So this piece actually comes in, starts out as a raw aluminum piece, and then we sand it. And then we do some texture to create the pattern. And as you see Maggie painting here, we have lots of color going on to create lots of depth. Um, this is how one of the other pieces comes out once you've gotten the gold leaf on there. But then you've got to do a lot of wash. You've got to do a lot of hand applied texture and color so that it's not just a gold leaf uh, piece of art. So Moonwalk is one of the pieces that we hand paint from the canvas all the way up. As you can see, it turns out to be a beautiful piece, but guess what? It takes days and days of painting and drying times and all the layering to get to this piece. So this is how it starts out. We actually start with a plain canvas, and then we put the gesso on top of it to create texture. And you see, this is pretty much a blank canvas as it is. And you can imagine what kind of uh, skill it takes for an artist to come back in and 
create the piece so that we can replicate this as a multi-original time after time again. It's not just a paint by number, it's a piece that we actually use real artists to create the pieces. So we have a set of two called Tranquil Horizons 1 and 2. These have been in the line since October of 2014, but guess what? They continue to sell, so we continue to paint them. This is Teresa, and she's painted these for uh, several years because she's really good at doing the steps that it takes to finish the pieces. So we have a spec sheet for every piece that we do here in the studio. It's got our paint list. It tells us how much paint we're supposed to use. Uh, we also have the paint sample that we use so that we replicate this as close as possible every time. We don't want our customers to get something that is not like the original that we would have photographed or had on our website. So following instructions and being able to replicate the product is a skill that we really have to have here in the studio. So one of the things that's important, especially in today's design environment, is oversized products. This is one of our pieces that we're doing that's a 54 inch piece, uh, oversized. But again, this piece is hand painted from the canvas up. This check fire paint sample that we got from the artist. These are all the paint names that we're going to use within this piece. So we don't just make up the colors. The artist tells us what paints they use, and then we come in and we're going to use those colors within the piece, again, so that we can replicate it as close to the original as possible. We love this piece called Sell Away. So this is a series of five called Silver Coins. Again, artist Linus Jardine created the pieces. Multiple, multiple steps in creating these pieces. Think it's easy to make a circle? Well, no, it's not easy to make a circle with a paintbrush. So we use a little trick with our mat board to create some circles so that they're consistent every time. They're the same size, the, the diameter is the same, and it looks great on the texture. So this is actually how this piece starts out with a mat brush. You start out with the paint, the silver, and then you're going to wash it with a color, and then you're going to come back and put the gold. Multiple, multiple layers of paint and time to put these pieces together. It's not something you just print and you have the color. You gotta have layers of paint to create depth for the pieces.